President Biden and former President Donald Trump will spend the weekend on the campaign trail. It comes days after they both agreed to come face to face for the first debate this election cycle. On Friday, Trump campaigned in Minnesota. He headlined the state GOP's annual fundraising dinner in St. Paul and told the crowd he could win the traditionally Democratic state in November. In Washington, President Biden spoke at an NAACP event to mark the 70th anniversary of Brown v. Board of Education. The president is capping off a week of intense outreach to voters deemed crucial to his reelection bid. Natalie Brand is at the White House. Natalie, good morning. Good morning, Nancy. President Biden will be leaving for Atlanta later this morning, and on Sunday, he'll be visiting a college campus addressing students amid the widespread demonstrations over Gaza that erupted a month ago. His travel this weekend also aims to regain the support of voters who helped get him elected to the White House in 2020. 70 years after Brown versus the board, there are some forces trying to deny freedom of opportunity for all Americans. President Biden speaking on the anniversary of the landmark Supreme Court ruling that struck down racial segregation in public schools slammed former President Trump and his GOP allies. My predecessor and extreme MAGA friends are responsible for taking away other fundamental freedoms, from the freedom to vote to the freedom to choose. This weekend, the president is focusing on reaching young voters and black voters. Tomorrow, he'll deliver the commencement at Atlanta's Morehouse College, one of the nation's top historically black colleges and universities. And later, he'll travel to Detroit to attend an NAACP dinner. Free, free Palestine. At Morehouse, he's facing threats of protest over Israel and Gaza. We don't want politics. We definitely don't want Biden coming to speak politics. Having a, a president, a standing president at your commencement speaking, that's obviously historical. Discontent by younger non-white voters is cited in polling this week by the New York Times, Philadelphia Inquirer, and Siena College, which shows the president trailing Trump in five key swing states among registered voters. <laughs> The former president Friday night campaigned in St. Paul, Minnesota, speaking at a state GOP dinner, arguing he has a shot of winning the state despite losing it twice before. This is a great state. We're going to win this state. He also received a standing Thank ovation you. after falsely claiming once again the 2020 election was rigged. The radical left Democrats rigged the presidential election in 2020, and we are not going to allow them to rig the presidential election in 2024. Who are we sending back to the White House in November? North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum also made a surprise appearance. He's considered a potential vice presidential contender. Burgum and other possible VP picks also traveled to New York this week for Trump's criminal hush money trial. The case could go to the jury as early as next week, Meg. Natalie, thank you.